All right, guys, we are here for another single swag video. I did my first one. I got it for the month of December. I will say I am really shocked. This came really early. I'm going to assume this is my January box. But guys, it is December 31st. It is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this. And I got this yesterday. I got it on the 30th. So you guys will be seeing this, you know, sometime beginning of January. Um, but let's open it. Let's see what's inside. I loved my first box. I have been loving them for a while i watch it over on wendy jean's channel and i watch it over on unboxings with arlene um so that's why when i saw the black friday sale i decided to pick it up my boxes are come out to about 20 bucks a box i think the normal price is 44 but i got it for 50 percent off on black friday and i signed up for six months so this is it right here i love that it tells you everything right behind here um and it literally says, New Year, same amazing you. Relax, smile, and enjoy this month's special surprise just for you. And it has a retail value of $213. So let's do a little sneak peek. Ooh, I already love what I see on top. So let's pull that right out. And then we got some stuff in there. Ooh, I love this box. Part of me is like, man, I should have signed up for the year. So the run thing, I, the first thing I see, it looks like it's going to be some kind of really cute beanie. It says, The Winter Brand. So let's get more information on it. Yeah, right here. It's a Chanel beanie. Oh my God, I think that's how you say it, Chanel. I love the feeling of Chanel. I have a Chanel blanket I got from FabFitFun. Oh yeah, it's so soft. So let's see, it says this is valued at $49. And it says whether you're fighting cold weather or just heating up your street style, you can trust this soft, durable beanie to get the job done. Cozy, warm, and super stretchy, this fashionable accessory has been lovingly designed to provide amazing all-day comfort. I do think $49 is pushing it a bit, but I am happy to receive it and I will definitely use it. Um, it's very thick. Oh my god, it's fur lined. <gasps> All right, so maybe 49 is not pushing it too much because the, I know the ones that are fur lined are more money. It does get really cold here in Massachusetts. So when I am going to be out for a long period of time, like when I go see the Christmas lights or uh, one year like me and Joe went to Boston for the day, I usually get the ones that are fur lined. Um, and I love the touch of black. It's very neutral, has a really cute little black snowflake in the front. It does have kind of like a random black button here. I don't know what that's for. And I don't know what this is. It has two black little holes over here. I wish it went into more detail. This is not part of the beanie. Like, I can take this off. Joe, any idea what this is? Uh, mm, no. It can't... Oh, oh, is this all I want to make it a chin strap? Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, because look, there's buttons on both sides. That's cool. So this is if you want to be extra, extra warm. Like if I'm going out in a snowstorm. <laughs> I have never seen this before. I was wondering what this part That's was. Cool. So you know what? I'm going to try it on for you guys. And I do have a white winter coat. So this is like perfect. So of course my hair is up. So it's going to be a little more difficult. I literally only wear beanies when my hair is down. And when my hair is up, I usually wear like ear warmers. Oh no, this, this is way too loose to be a tin strap. Uh, Maybe no. just an extra... Neck protector. Yeah, too. I guess. There you go. But with like a nice hooded winter jacket. And oh, this is really warm. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then it this is optional. You don't have to use it at all. And look, you know what this would have been good for? Um, when masks were a thing and you had to wear them. Oh my god, or is this a face mask? Joe, I think it's a face mask. But like I was going to say, these would be good for when face masks were a thing and you had to wear them to go into stores and stuff because I literally bought a headband that did this because my ears were starting to hurt after a while. But I think that's what this is. Not because of um, the C word, more because if you're outside, like this is perfect for when you're legit outside. Um, if you're like, you know, trying a shovel or you're cleaning out your car, you literally can use this for your face so it's kind of you know how like the concept of a ski mask where only your eyes are open mm, yeah. it's that there you go but it's different from a ski mask obviously because it's do have a li little more like if you're not as claustrophobic i couldn't wear a ski mask especially with my glasses so this is kind of perfect so wow i'm really excited to receive this it's definitely different um it's not like just the beanie i like that a lot and then I wonder if you want to just 
yeah okay so yeah that was the first item i do really like that and like i said that's valued at 49 dollars. and now my hair is a hot mess all right so let's get right into the next thing in our box box here so first thing i see right on top it says okay that is the name brand i don't know if this is like a free little item or if this counts as an item I don't see it on... Okay, bonus. I think because it's a little foil packet. Usually those are extra or bonus items. Not in every box. Sometimes they definitely count it as an item. Um, that, That's why I love single swag. And this one says, Wake up softer, brighter, looking skin with the intense, hydrating, overnight sleep mask sample featuring hyaluronic acid. And yeah, this is just a sample. So this shouldn't count as an item. Unless it's a box that, you know, says include samples. So it's really nice that they didn't count this, but we got it as an item. And you definitely get dry skin in the winter. This doesn't even have a price because it's considered like a bonus. And you're supposed to just put it on overnight. And, it, you know, it says for eight hours. It's so cute. From like a moon to the sun. Um, it says overnight hydration. Suitable for nightly use. Contains hyaluronic acid, which is a very moisturizing ingredient for your skincare. So the next thing I have here is a facial cleansing bar by La Rose or La Rose right here. So let me see if I can find some more information for you guys. I am not seeing it on here at all. All right, La Rose Facial Cleansing Bar by Dr. Botanicals. This is valued at $18. It says, this is not a soap. Start your day with this completely vegan cleansing bar. Feel uplifted and energized as you wake up to clean, hydrated, and a blissful scent every morning. as you wake up clean hydrated skin oh it smells really good so i like this i had one from a different brand i got in fab fit fun and i did really enjoy it, it was like a black charcoal <coughs> and it's kind of nice because there's less like plastic for the environment you know what i mean because it is just a bar so it's not you're not having like a big pump bottle and it can just sit on a little dish like on your vanity really cute um and it's vegan which is really nice dr botanical is a natural and vegan beauty brand and it says we are a small company making the most amazing natural skincare and it says our company started when my father a chemist made a new treatment of plant botanicals back in 1958 here at dr botanicals we always try to make things better in a natural way using ingredients like pomegranate, charcoal, cucumber, walnuts, watermelon, and berries on their own or together. Your skin is amazing. You are amazing. Love your skin with nature. Richard and the Dr. Botanicals team. So I really like that. That's why I've always liked when I watch unboxings of this and why I decided to get it. Because you really get different things. Like I get so many cleansers in boxes. And yeah, it's a cleanser, but it's a different kind of cleanser. So that was valued at $18. The next thing I have here is We Live Like This, Do You Calming Lavender Body Spray. And I love lav lavender. If you guys watch anything on my channel, I say that every time I get something lavender. So let's get more info on this right here. It's valued at $22. No, wait. Okay. So it was two options, but both are $22. So it says... I could have got either this or the Oil Balancing Mousse Cleanser. Pamper yourself with the organic beauty product from the Sought After brands. So I'm really excited to receive this. It's definitely my preference over like another cleanser. And I don't usually, I don't have super oily skin. So I'm really having calming. Lavender is usually calming. And you spray it on the body, your body and it says to breathe it in. Vegan friendly, gluten free, not tested on animals, sulfate free. Let's try this already. And I like the little glitter to it. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh my God, I'm gonna love this. I have like a spinny thing on a vanity and that's like my everyday products. I, I have like literally my deodorant there, my body spray. I'm definitely gonna put this on there and it's so pretty. So again, that's a $22 value. And that's what I mean, like just that item, boom, like the payment of my box, which is crazy. Oh, guys, we got a book. Oh my God. So I'll show that last. Um, it's at the bottom of the box, but I tell you guys, and I know, and oh my God, and I know the author, and oh my God, I can't wait to read it. Um, I tell you guys all the time, I've seen like when Wendy gets a book, when she opens the box, and I know she's not a big reader, so she's like not super excited, but I'm always excited. And I even said that in my first single sag box, I will link it down below. I was like, oh, I hope I get a book. So anyway, before the book, so we have a Steve Laurent, Laurent duo kit tweezer duo so you get the point tip and the slant tip um 
I kind of needed one of these because I have one in a bathroom drawer that I use all the time, you know, fix up my face. And then I told Joel the other day, I'm like, I really should buy another one and put it in my bedroom drawer because sometimes I'm laying there and I do have like a little mirror. And sometimes, you know, because I'll sometimes I'll put like my zit stickers before I go to bed. And I was like, I should buy a tweezer because sometimes I have to get up, go all the way to the bathroom if I notice like a stray you know, chin hair or something. So I'm happy to get this. I will put this on my bedside table. This is valued at, let me see, let's find it on here, $24. That's kind of pricey for two um, tweezers. I think the one in the bathroom is a Dollar Tree one. So well, hopefully this one's a better quality since it's worth $24. And I know I definitely heard of this name brand before. It says, say goodbye to pesky stray hairs with this set of two stainless steel tweezers, one slant tip, one pointed tip, durable, easy to clean, and perfectly calibrated tension for more control and a stress-free tweezing ritual i probably end up loving these because sometimes idolatry ones do give me a hard time oh and it's one black and one silver i really like that this is like a really cute stocking stuffer too i know christmas is over but joe's literally putting away christmas stuff as, as i'm filming this so i guess it's on my brain but super duper cute all right so the next item we have saint lux liquid gold a uh, liquid glow and this is 24 dollars, and it says it's a concentrated cream oh i thought it was gonna be like a lipstick or something cream glow is the perfect addition to your beauty routine it can be used as a base for your foundation or mixed in with your foundation or even by itself for a sustained glowing look so I will definitely incorporate this in my makeup routine. I'll probably mix it in like my primer or moisturizer. I tend to do that when I get these little things versus using it on its own. Oh, it says you can use it as a highlighter too. Add a pea-sized amount to your fingers. Gently tap the product into your skin and blend outward. So I'm excited to receive that. Then we have our little treat. Every box always comes with a little treat. Um, let's see what this one is. Obviously, I can look just look at it, but I would like to... And that's what I want to see. Four dollar value, and it's a misfit bar. I know Wendy was talking about how late lately it was always a kind bar, and December was a kind bar. So I'm happy to see a different brand. And it says these delicious three layer bars have a crumbly base, a gooey center, and a rich chocolate topping. Plus, they're low in sugar. Enjoy. And yes, yeah, it's right here. They're gluten free, less than one gram of sugar, sixteen grams of protein, and vegan. And it's a protein bar, so it's definitely healthier for you. I may look up this brand because my mom's actually keto. So she's been trying to find things that have, like, less sugar that she can eat. So um, if there's something that interests her, I will definitely let her know about it. It has 5 grams of carbs. Oh, but then it has 9 grams of fiber. So, yeah, this is definitely something she would eat. And she sometimes does miss having, like, a sweet little treat. So I'm really excited to try this. And not bad for $4 because usually, like, the keto healthier stuff can get kind of pricey. I'm sure I can find that on Amazon. I feel like you can find everything on Amazon. All right. So the last thing I have, well, before the book, is the jewelry item. And some months, I'll be honest with you guys, I love the jewelry. I love December's jewelry. Some months, I'm not a fan. I figure I'll throw it in a giveaway. So let's see if I like this one. It's valued at $56. I do think they blow up the price on the jewelry. But... Like I said, I paid 20 bucks for this box. So just to receive all these products is fine with me. And this one says it's a four-piece bracelet set. It says this posh layering bracelet includes four unique and elegant pieces, two real glass beaded stretch bracelets accented with gold charms and a tassel, sparkling gold bracelet with lobster claw, and an adjustable silk strand with a white marble charm. It sounds beautiful. And I do like layered bracelets. So let's see. I do like the packaging too, like just the way it's presented in the box. Joe is making Mango dance behind the camera. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, my God. I love this. So this is the two with the glass beads that they were talking about. And you have a tassel on one with a little gold charm. And this one just has a gold heart charm with two little gold spacers. And it's kind of like a creamy, milky white, which I do like neutrals because it'll match everything. And then this is the gold bracelet they were talking about. And then this is the string bracelet with like a piece of white marble. And these would look really cute all paired together because this little marble piece matches the glass 
stones in my opinion and then the gold bracelet matches like the gold little coin on here so yeah i love this month so so far i've been loving every jewelry piece i've gotten now let's get into my favorite thing although these a lot of these are my favorites i do really like this uh bracelet set and i really like the chenille hat all right, you guys ready? Dun da da da, dun da da da, dun da da da. Anna Faris's book. If you guys don't know who Anna Faris is, Joe, do you know who Anna Faris is? Look at her. Give you five seconds to figure it out. Five, four, three. You give up? Two, one. She's in the the scary movies. The main girl, but she's brunette. Her hair's black. Oh wow. You watch the scary movies, right? Not all of them. Anyway. That is who she is. She's also in a TV show. She's an uh, she's an actress. She was in that movie, the play where she plays a Playboy bunny. She is a Playboy bunny, and she goes back to college. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, so and she was also um, is she still married? No, her and uh, Chris Pratt broke up. She was married to Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. So this book is a memoir. So I am super excited to read this. Um, let me see if it says the name of the movie. She was in Brokeback Mountain. It says, known for her roles in Lost in Translation, Brokeback Mountain, um, remake of Overboard, which I knew about that one. Oh, she has her own podcast. Oh, yeah, the TV show was Mom. She's an ex-drug addict in it. It, it sounds like a really good, um, a TV show. It sounds like a really good TV show. I've seen some episodes. I've never seen the whole thing. One day I did say I wanted to like binge watch the whole thing. I gotta see if it's on like Netflix or Hulu. But it says, Anna Faris has advice for you. And it's great advice because she's been through it all and she wants to tell you what she learned. After surviving an awkward childhood, <coughs> when she bribed the fastest boy in the third grade with ice cream, navigating dating and marrying in Hollywood and building a podcast around the romantic advice. Anna has plenty of lessons to share. Advocate for yourself. Know that there are wonderful people out there that have a great relationship and a great relationship is possible. And finally, don't date magicians. Her comic memoir, Unqualified, she has Anna's candid, sympathetic, and entertaining stories of love lost in one. P uh, part memoir, including stories about being the short girl in an elementary school, finding and keeping female friends, and dealing with the pressure of the entertainment industry and parenthood. Part humorous, unflinching advice from our hit podcast. This book will reveal Anna's unique take on how to master the bizarre, chaotic, and ultimately rewarding world of love. I am so excited for this. I usually am like a novel person, but I do love a good biography if I know the person. I've read the one um, by Tess Holliday, who is a plus size model. I've read the one by Ashley Graham, another. She was like the first Sports Illustrated plus size model. Um, I just purchased three, which is kind of crazy because I don't read biographies for years. And then boom, I have four now. I picked up the new one by Matthew Perry, who is Chandler from Friends. I picked up the Tom Felton one, who is Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter. I picked up, I never know how to say her last name. Um, is she Jenny? I'm going to guess that's short for Jennifer. I'm going to guess her name is Jennifer. But it's the girl from iCarly. She wrote a book called I'm Glad My Mom Died. It has been, had rave reviews. Um, I picked those up. You're going to see it in a book haul on the Barnes & Nobles. They always do a 50% off sale the two days after Christmas. And now I have the Anna Faris one to add to this. So I am super excited. It says it has a foreword by Chris Pratt. So it's probably because she was married to him. I wonder if they're already... Um, I'm going to see what year this book was written. They're probably still married when she wrote this book. Because it says, To Chris, your wisdom and strength have made me a better person. It says it was printed... First paperback printing in 2018. But then it says, Published as a hardcover October 2017. So too bad, because I would have loved to read now, like her divorce since Pratt. But I will still very much enjoy this book. This is valued at $16. And this is why I love single swag. It's not just a bunch of makeup and it's not just a bunch of skincare you get such a good mix of products so let's just do a quick little overview i got the anna faris book i got the beautiful four piece bracelet set i got the misfits lower sugar healthier protein bar i got the tweezer duo from steve laurent laurent i got the saint Lux liquid glow to use as a highlighter or mixing with primer and moisturizer i got the cleansing bar by dr Britannicals. i got the lavender calming body spray that i already sprayed on me and love 
I got the free sample of the sleep mask. And then I got this really nice chenille neutral hat that comes with a really cool like face mask option. I love the pom pom too. So I am super excited about my January box. You guys let me know down below what you thought of it. I have so far loved every single box. I mean, it's only my second one, but I have loved both of them. I have not had a monthly box in a very long time. Back in 2020, I was trying to find anything that brought me joy. It's actually when I started this channel and I bought many boxes. I think at one point I had 12 subscription boxes. And then my goal for 2021, my resolution was to cancel majority of them because one, I was I had way too many things. I have so much a backlog of skincare and so much makeup, it's insane. Um, I can't imagine people that have subscription boxes for years and years because I've only had, I only had that for like a year. It was a lot of them though, obviously. But anyway, and then I, um, I cut down to three, which was the Walmart Beauty Box, which that's the one I was kind of referring to when I said foil packets, because it is a sample box, uh, but you do get full sizes, which so I like. Um, my FabFitFun and my Goldie Box, and those are quarterly, so they don't get as like intense because you're not constantly getting things in the mail every month. Single Swag is a monthly box, but it was such a good deal, and it's such a good mix of items that I really wanted to try it out. So I'm so glad I've gotten it so far. We'll have to see how the next four boxes go. If I love them, I'm not going to lie. I'm too cheap. I will not pay full price. I will have to go six months without it. And then probably the next Black Friday, hopefully they do the sale again. And maybe I will just go for the year. We shall see. But you guys let me know if you've been liking the single swag, if you get single swag, um, what you thought of my January box, your favorite item, all those things. Do, would you appreciate getting a book in a box? That is it for this video. Like the video, it really helps the YouTube algorithm. Like I said, comment all those things down below and be safe.